So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. For today's project you will need only three things. An old leather belt, buckle not necessary, a sturdy plastic bottle and some rivets. Probably not so much. So now let's take some measurements. We need a piece that goes around the bottle like this and we need a piece that goes around like this but got still enough to make a little loop here and then yeah, I'll show you. So now, after measuring, we have to cut it. I'm using a exacto knife, but you can use scissors or a sharp knife. That just depends on what you prefer. And I'm cutting it about this way here. You don't need to go to it all at once, just make a little cut and then follow up the cut a few times. And try to use a real leather belt, not one of those Alcantara plastic cheaping ones. This is a real one. It's a complete piece of leather. And yeah, it's old and worn out, but that's why we are repurposing it. <laughs> repurposing it should Ooh. look like this. And now we are making a hole directly in the middle, but not whilst the bottle is in it. <laughs> so, off camera I did put a little nail through it, because I can't really nail anything on this table. You can use your pet stone for this, or you just take a hammer. And now it's the time for you to decide if you want to use rivets or if you want to sew it together or if you want to do both. So pulling all the nails out again can take some time and strength. So you can of course uh, use a power drill to get the holes in the leather. But no matter what you have to get holes. And the next step is pretty simple. We took a few smaller nails and just stick it together so it keeps the shape and then we glue it. Yeah, we use glue, just the standard stuff. Uh, that's just to reinforce it so it doesn't wiggle or yeah, just for something like this. And we will prepare the surface here. I have marked it, so to get rid of the <coughs> to get rid of the rest of the paint, we are just sanding it. So after roughly sanding the surface, we are applying the glue glue. Let's try to find the holes. They are here, and just put a bit of glue around it. Doesn't need to be much. I don't want it to push out and now we are just sticking it together and pushing the nails through. Just like this. You see the glue? It goes together like this, sandwichy sandwichy. And the nails are just there so the holes stay lined up. You could now um, 
yeah, just put a clamp around it to squeeze it tight till the glue is dry. That will even increase the strength. And yeah. now we are doing the last step here in the gluing. Just apply, apply here. Smear it out. A little goes a long way. And then we push the naily nailies to the holy holies. So perfect. Now we let this little piece dry and then we saw it together. Completely simple and easy. So now just one last stitch left. So, this part is done. I could have made it a bit wider, but it will do. And yeah, it's the back side anyways. Okay, now we are at the final steppy step. I'm drilling a hole exactly here where I've marked it. Then I fold this part over, put this thing through it and this up here. I'm turning it around and I'm hammering it together. By doing so this part here will squeeze into this, expand and well, then it stays together forever. We take a piece of wood, we put it on here, there's our marking, and now we're going to drill our little hole. Slowly without any pressure. I'm just letting the weight of the drill go across and increasing the pressure a little bit. Let's check if we are good. Yeah, looks good. So let's finish the hole and we're good to go. The rivet is installed. I just put this through here. This then goes here and gets hammered together. So, and here we are. Now she is finished. Ready to go on the next adventure with me. And if you make one yourself, with you too. It's perfectly snug doesn't fall out. Yeah. I really like it. And so, a little gift for all of those who stuck around till the end. A little outtake. Yeah. I had to redo this. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. Nobody's perfect. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. And if you happen to make one of them yourself, well, put a link in the comments. 
I'd be happy to see how yours turn out. And if you have any questions or something, put them in the comments.